Hello everyone. In previous class, we discussed about client, company, company code. And today we will discuss about the currency and multiple currencies. Those are available in our system. So in previous SAP ECC, which is an older version of SAP, we can create up to three currencies. But now we can create multiple currencies as and when required by our business so in SAP ECC we have three currencies company code local currency group currency or additional currency we discuss about the company code local and group currencies in previous class group currency is defined at client level global currency is defined at company level and company code currency is defined at company code level but the additional currencies are defined at the country level so let's see where these are defined these currencies are defined to the countries those are having higher inflation rates so let's see to the country setting and see where these currencies can be defined go to SPRO SCP reference IMG and we go to a BAP platform general settings set countries and define countries we go to our country Pakistan and here we define index based currency and hard currency but now in SAP S4 HANA due to the introduction of universal general AC DOCA table we can configure multiple currencies so let's see where we can configure it go to SPRO SAP reference IMG and here we see financial accounting financial accounting global setting ledgers ledger define setting for ledgers and currency types so these currencies are defined at the ledger level ledgers are used to store our all the financial information so this is the ledger multiple ledgers can be created in our, in our system as per our requirement so we create our own currency so let's say we create what currency is that edge this is for our company and in this option company code specific conversion if we check this option then this currency will only be available for our company not for any other com company code so if we check so we create two currencies z f currency so zh is our company code specific conversion currency and zf is our global currency global currency can be used for multiple company codes so we create this save this transaction this is here anything we create in our system will be trans saved in our transport request and we can transfer this data from one server to another server so let's create this transport request this is already created and let's do setting for one currency so uncheck this this is our global currency and we come to so for this ZH we go to currency conversion setting for company codes but in ZF currency we go to global currency conversion setting so first create for this okay 
so here we define this currency for our company code so go to new entries h a 01 is our company and we create this this is our currency zh so you can see guys only our zh zh is displaying here zf is not displaying okay and this is we use create britain gpp we create this currency as we already can configured pkr for our company code currency so this in currency can be extracted from document currency which currency we define for our document will always be extracted exchange rate we use average rate and translation date will be the posting date and system will automatically post this any entry in gpp in the real time so this is created okay. so So let's let's go to our second currency, which is ZF. So create this at the global level. Here we will define it. ZF. See guys, this is global currency, and company code option is not available here. And we use USD, and this will always be extracted from document currency exchange rate is average rate posting date so let's save this so let's go to the ledger and here this is the leading ledger we will discuss about the leading non leading extension ledger in our next class so define leading ledger is assigned to every company which is created in our system so let's go to our company so here we can use zh and zf different currencies zf can be used anywhere in ever zf this is a global currency not company code currency so let's see this will be created for our company So, when we post our document, it will always be posted in multiple currencies, which is 10, which is PKR, pound, and dollar, US dollar. So, these are the currency settings. So, let's go to further explanation. So, in central currency configuration, which is introduced in SAP S4 HANA, we create multiple currencies so let's discuss about controlling area currency in controlling area currency it was previously using at the controlling area level which is used in management accounting but SAP is recommended to use global currency and don't use controlling area currency global currency is used for every controlling area and it is defined at the client level so that's all for this video see you tomorrow